Sunset's early tonight too. It's, it's like eight oh seven or something. Wix has to see the spiders. We oh, oh, he will. To. We won't be able to avoid it. That's just what's going to happen. We've had a lot of support from all of our levels of management to really bring these programs back because it really resonates with the core of our missions and goals. We got a lot of ideas of where we'd like to see this go, and now we just kind of want to utilize the resources we have. This park is open till 10 p.m., which is well after dark. We do patrol it out here, it is safe. I imagine there are some people who are a little bit nervous about coming out on this part of the trail, but it is a different experience than if you come and walk it during the day. Oh, hey, cuteness. No worries. Oh, you're fine. He's welcome fine. out here. This is completely urbanized around here. People don't realize that 200 feet away from their apartment complex is an intact swamp habitat. So what we are giving them is a guided, focused, uh, view of it. I just think it's a great opportunity to get people to see a side of the parks that they probably don't see or are not aware of. Because we get less people, a lot of the wildlife that we've had has become averse to human contact, human interactions and things like that. So you do get more activity with those animals in those lower peak hours. That's woodpecker. The red-headed woodpecker, he is probably, there he is directly above me. Because you can literally surround yourself with everything here, you can just take a moment and breathe and let it wash over you and relax in it. When I pitched it to Alima, our director, she says, that sounds great, but am I gonna run into a spider? And I go, no, no, I I've made special accommodations. But if we're running late, that promise is not gonna hold. <laughs> nope, there's a big boy. Yeah, they're getting bigger. <laughs> that means we're getting close to the nest. Oh my God. I'm not gonna lie. I am actually arachnophobic. That has been a significant obstacle for this program. And that is part is why we choose or chose the time that we are going to do this program. It is to minimize our spider interaction. <laughs> All of these spiders have medically insignificant bites. We did make sure to identify any potentially problematic species for safety reasons. That being said, I can't say it won't be Im emotionally impactful if you end up with a tropical orb weaver on you. We get runners out here. Like I said, they start off walkers, they hit a spider web, they become runners. Definitely discovered just how many spiders North Collier has. How did you discover that? Uh, face first. <laughs> that could be us. That could be us. Big butt, hairy legged, disrespectful spider. So yes. This is the exact kind of web we walked face first into. Oh my God, it's in my hair now. <laughs> oh shit. If you walk through a single strand, no biggie. It freaks you out, it breaks. You got it, you got it. It's on you now. It's, all right, all right, he's going that no, way. No, it's still attached. But you, when you walk into the multiple web and it doesn't really give. He's still attached, but he's, oh, he's, he's on the, the ground. ground. He's on the ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's beautiful and fascinating. Oh. I just don't want it on me. And I would even say tonight. Light, light on the spiders. Yeah, light on the spiders. <laughs>